Going back to the uh, speech today, you sure know where the media class is with Labor's voice, because you just look at the standing ovation that Linda Burney, the Minister for Indigenous Australians, that she got at the National Press Club today after that appalling speech to sell the voice. I mean, that's astonishing. Almost everyone at the National Press Club on their feet. Although, to be fair, yes, the audience included not just journalists, but Labor politicians, staffers, our first ambassador, First Nations people for, of all things as well. But still, joining me on Newswatch is Sophie Ellsworth, media writer for the Australian newspaper. Sophie, thanks for your time. I haven't spoken to you for yonks. I'm glad you're back. Um, glad I'm back. Uh, a standing ovation at the National Press Club for a Labor minister pushing this very divisive and now unpopular cause. That's a bad look for the press club, isn't it? And it's also a powerful symbol of the divide on this issue, particularly between the public and the cultural elite that dictates to them. Well, I think it's a shocking look, Andrew, and this uh, just really shows the country the Canberra press bubble that there is. Now, as you pointed out, not any, everyone in that room uh, is a journalist, but a lot of them were and a lot of them were standing. I could only see the odd ones still sitting. Now, can you imagine if Senator Jacinta Price addressed the National Press Club <laughs> with Laura Tingle sitting there and said, vote no. <laughs> now, can you imagine journalists standing up and applauding her? I highly doubt it. And this is a shocking look for the media. They should not be weighing into this. The journalists in that room uh, should have stayed put in their seats. I know it's hard when you're in those situations. Everyone stands. Uh, they look at you if you don't. But I think this shows where the media is in Australia. And a very similar thing happened when John Fain gave his speech uh, at the Melbourne Press Club Awards. Uh, Pro Voice, the room was applauding and cheering him. This is expected because, as we know in Australia, the media is heavily skewed to the left. Yeah, I noticed too, you know, you don't... You don't actually get people abusing their own platform to advocate for the no campaign. Conservatives don't do that. It's just the habit of the left. Uh, goes to that, you know, finger-wagging totalitarian instinct, I think. But speaking of bias, Sophie, you wrote to the Australian Today, I had to laugh, uh, that the ABC is actually going to hire cultural guidance advisors to ensure that journalists make culturally informed Decisions Now, I first hoped, hoped against hope that this meant uh, maybe teaching journalists that Western society wasn't that bad, you know, to give Anglos uh, a bit of a break, to stop falsely claiming that, uh, you know, we commit genocide, like one ABC journalist said the other day, to stop keep painting us as racist, stop vilifying our history. But I suspect, Sophie, from your piece, it's actually more indoctrination by the left of their own staff. Well, Andrew, let's just remind our viewers that the ABC sacked 120 staff last month. Now they're hiring these uh, three cultural advisors to come into the organisation and guide content makers when they're making decisions on culture and make sure that they're culturally sensitive and appropriate. Now, this is the ABC that Ed claims that we've got white supremacists at that uh, infamous meeting up in Alice Springs that caused all sorts of problems for the ABC. Uh, we've got staff at the ABC saying that there's genocide going on in Australia with Indigenous populations. So perhaps these cultural advisors could come in and look at things like that. But the ABC is so obsessed with this type of thing. Uh, what about the diversity and having someone come in and go, is there a diversity of opinion? But it's always this way. Uh, and I'm not surprised by this move, Andrew. This is where the ABC is going uh, and I think people at home will just be shaking their heads about this. And still to this day, the ABC supposedly meant, meant to be impartial does not have one single conservative on one single mainstream TV or radio program. I can name for you 20 people of the left. I can't name a single conservative. Now, meanwhile... Uh, you mentioned all the people that had been sacked. One of the people they'd sacked, of course, is political editor Andrew Probe. And they said, well, we don't need anyone doing that job of political editor. You know, we've got to get groovy down with the kids and, you know, uh, digital and all that kind of stuff. But now, after all that criticism it's been getting for that decision, 
it seems the ABC kind of does need such a person after all, doesn't it? Well, they've sacked, well, sacked, axed, whatever you want to say, made him redundant. Andrew Probum, he was shown the front door a few weeks ago. Uh, ABC were in damage control. They got heavily criticised uh, by this decision, uh, including from the Prime Minister. Well, today they've announced that David Spears, who obviously used to be uh, Sky Political uh, editor at, at Sky News that he, as Insiders host, is taking on this role as political lead. So they've got rid of the political editor. Obviously, there's some issue with Andrew Pro Probin because they've shown him the door. And they've basically... I mean, it's a different title. It sounds very similar, Andrew, the job. And they've put <laughs> David Spears in there. So uh, Probin was very gracious in his comments uh, to us today about Spears' appointment. But it smells fishy to me. But, look, there's been a lot of uh, people in the media praising Andrew Probin, but don't forget in 2018 he got in a lot of trouble for calling former Prime Minister Tony Abbott the most destructive uh, in our history or something to that effect. So uh, <laughs> no, he has caused Prime a Minister bit of history. controversy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Probin so was on the left. this is and what look, they've done. People say, yeah, da people say David Spears, former Sky News. I mean, there's a hate campaign in the ABC. You know, Sky News is actually of the right. David's a lovely man. His centre left. Uh, take it from me. In fact, anyone listening to him will know that. <laughs> nice guy. Good luck to him. Uh, Sophie Ellsworth, thank you so much indeed mm. for your time. Really appreciate it.